Hello, today I'm sharing the best skincare and hair care products and some lifestyle products. I have some home, fashion, jewelry, even some TV shows to share with you that I just really loved in 2021. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new and I have a lot to cover. So let's go ahead and get into these skincare, hair care, and lifestyle things that stood out to me over the past year. I discovered a lot of great skincare, well, and hair care products too. I mean, all the products in this video during the last year. I can't put everything that I loved into a yearly favorites video. So I still love all the products that I talked about. I just pulled the ones for these videos that really stood out to me the most. And specifically for hair care and skin care, these are kind of the game changers for me that there is no other substitute. So I'm going to start with the Niod Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate. I've talked about this quite a bit during during the last year because I feel like I have kind of a difficult under eye area. I have dryness and texture and for me, I was using a treatment eye cream at night. Those usually weren't hydrating enough for me during the day. Hydrating eye creams during the day usually didn't offer the same treatments that I want as a 46 year old. Most of us, as we get a little bit older, want some anti-aging benefits in our skincare. So this is a serum type of product. There is a glass dropper and it is very concentrated. You only need about a half of a drop for your under eye area and your eyelids. I have noticed a difference in the way my makeup wears, this, the way my whole under eye area looks and feels. It doesn't feel as dry as it used to. I do notice a difference with this. Now I'm going to link you to the page for this because there are a lot of very scientific ingredients in here. That's kind of the whole brand. Now I was calling this Niod. Is it Niod or Niod? Anyway, that's how the whole brand is. They're very advanced, I guess, with their products. I have more here to try from them that I'm really excited about because if I see, you know, the same differences that I've seen with this, I will be extremely happy. It's pricey, but because a little bit goes a long way, it lasts forever. And this is a price that I'm willing to pay because I see differences from it. So some of these products I've talked about more recently than others, I hope I'm not sounding super repetitive, but I mean, they are yearly favorites. This is a summary. So these are two of those products. This is the Elta MD Tinted UV Elements Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. This is the Elastin Hydra Tint Pro Mineral Sunscreen. I love both of these so much. I just put both of these in a video of holy grails that I replaced because these have replaced my previous holy grail sunscreen. I love that both of them have tints to them so they don't give me that white cast that a lot of mineral sunscreens can give me. Mineral is all I can wear. These work great on my sensitive skin. They're not heavy. They're not greasy. And specifically the elastin is kind of an all-in-one. And it's not touted as a makeup product, but you can wear this as, you know, um, evening skin tint type of product or even under powder foundation. It gives you that kind of skin evening base, whereas the Elta MD is more of, you know, just a product that has a tint so that it's not ghostly white, but they're both really nice. Now the Elta I think is great for normal to oily skin. And then they have the UV Restore. I'll have that linked down below too. It's a little bit better for normal to dry skin. And then the Elastin, I think, spans all skin types. These have been fantastic. Love them so much. It's so hard to find good facial sunscreens, good mineral facial sunscreens. These also have water resistance to them too, which is an added bonus. This Drunk Elephant product is supposed to be a mask. I don't use it as a mask though. This is the F-Balm Electrolyte Water Facial. So this is something that I mix into moisturizers at night specifically when I need extra extra hydration. Either my skin has just had enough of the retinol already, we're having changing seasons, or you know just something is going on that is causing my skin to be a little more dehydrated, a little more parched. This, when added to moisturizers for me, just gives it more hydration than I get from anything else. It's got vitamin F microbeads and sodium PCA, and I'm sure there are other fantastic things in here that just do the trick for me. It's got just kind of a gel lotion consistency. I find it sinks in, it mixes rather nicely. You can of course apply it as a mask or by itself. There's no scent. 
at all. And it helps with the skin barrier, which, you know, can be an issue, especially as we get older. I went through plenty of cleansing balms, cleansing oils during 2021. I always use that as the first step of my makeup removal before I go in with my cleanser at night. And I'm always trying out different ones to see which ones are really good. I tried out some really great ones, but I wanted to give a special shout out to Good Molecules. I don't have it here because I completely used it up. I actually went through two of these. Even though this isn't a drugstore product, you buy it online, it is so effective at removing all of my makeup, waterproof included. There's no scent to it at all. I know that's really important to a lot of people when it comes to cleansing balms, and it just works. The texture's great. It rinses clean with water. There's no residue. It's mostly the scent freeness of it, the texture, and the price point. I just think it's a really great option. A lot of the less expensive cleansing balms have a scent to them or they have something in them that is not that desirable. And this one is a great, great option. I wasn't sure what video to put this next product in. It's kind of a hybrid product for me. And I almost put it in my top 10 drugstore makeup purchases video, which I'll have linked below along with everything in this video and what I'm wearing. I'll also have that video linked at the end so you can catch it once you finish this one. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. I bought this after I heard everyone raving about it. I was out shopping one day and saw it and thought I hadn't tried that yet. Let me get it. I'm sure it's going to be like all the other facial mists that I try and then they just kind of sit there. Oh no, no. I have used this. I love it. Now, one thing that I love is that the spray is consistent. It's just this beautiful cloud. It smells good. It smells like coconut as it should since that's the name. So this uh, hydrates with hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. What I use this for is sometimes after I've done my skincare, if I've wandered around a little bit and I feel like my face just needs a little burst of something before I go in with my makeup, I'll miss my face with this. And it does give me some extra hydration without adding greasiness throughout the day. Sometimes I'll refresh my makeup with it during the day. Sometimes if I get little dry spots as the day goes on, little flakes, which can happen, I'll spray this directly on a sponge and then dab that spot on my face and it completely takes care of it. This has turned out to be a little versatile miracle in a bottle that I have loved over the past year after I discovered it. What a great inexpensive little versatile find. I'm so glad I tried in 2021. If you haven't tried this, I highly encourage you to pick it up and try it. I think you'll really enjoy it. It's also really refreshing in the summer. If you chill it, it's really cooling and nice. I just, I love this. I discovered my whole Holy Grail Detox Shampoo in 2021. I'll keep this brief because this is another product I've talked about a ton. I have a backup waiting over there because I will go through this. This is the Way Detox Shampoo. It's great for all hair types. Now I've had people talk about how you can detox your hair with apple cider vinegar. It does the same thing. This does that. It detoxes your hair without stripping your color. It also leaves your hair nice and soft after, which is something I don't get with other products. A lot of times when you use even other shampoos, not just like apple cider vinegar, your hair can feel really dry after. It doesn't after this. This leaves my hair feeling nice. It doesn't have an overwhelming scent either. I've been asked that about this particular product because some whey products do. I use this once every couple of weeks. I mean, it depends on how how much product you're putting on your hair if you need to use it more often, but I love it. Living Proof launched their new improved Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo this year, and I love it. Is this my second or third bottle? I can't remember. All I know is that I liked their first version. It was good, but it could leave a residue. This, I find, doesn't leave that white residue in my hair that can make my hair look gray. And instead of leaving my hair looking dull down the length of it, it leaves it looking shiny and feeling soft. So this removes the oil and dirt and actually cleans your hair a little bit better than the other product, which I think just did more covering up of that kind of stuff. Whereas this, I feel like I just have cleaner second day hair longer. I also use this sometimes at night to kind of prevent oiliness, you know, from happening when I wake up the next day, my hair looks a little bit better. I've heard people say they think this doesn't really work. And I'm almost wondering if it's because it doesn't 
give that typical residue and dryness that most dry shampoos do. This is one of my top favorite dry shampoos. So good. I have two hair tools to share with you that really changed my life in some way in 2021 the most, more than other hair tools. I also kept, you noticed my hair products to two. It was just my way of streamlining things because I did not do a good job of that in some of my previous yearly 2021 best of videos. So this is the GHD Gold Styler. This is the limited edition that comes in this really beautiful green box. If they still have this edition, I'll link it down below. I think it was available at Nordstrom only, but I'll also link the regular version because that's, that's what this is. So I love this because I don't have to think. First of all, it heats up in like 25 seconds, which is such a big thing if you think about it. 25 seconds is nothing. If I need a quick touch up, if I'm in a hurry, I can just flip it on and it seems like instantaneously it is at full heat. It's also heated to the optimal level to not damage your hair, but provide styling that works. That's how all GHD tools are. I, you know, I used to use a GHD flat iron and then I switched and, you know, I still love the T3s that I've used in between, but upon switching back to the GHD, I remember why I like this so much that perfect 365 degrees really does make a difference. And there's something about how this glides through my hair. It is the first iron that has allowed me to get curls with it easily. I've never been able to do that in my life before until I got this iron. I'll link the video down below where I demonstrate that. It's lightweight. It's very maneuverable. It's got a swivel end to it and a long cord. You can grab it here when you're styling if you need to and you're not going to burn yourself. Okay, I'm just going to say that's how, what I've experienced. I don't want to say that you would experience that same thing because you might find it hotter than I do. But I do find that I get more shine from this flat iron than I have gotten from others. Sometimes my hair would kind of poof back up and get a little bit dull looking if I walk around because of the humidity here in New Orleans, even inside the house. And it doesn't happen with this iron. I don't know what it is about it, but it just works really well for my hair. I love it. And, you know, I'm so glad that I've, I've gone back to it. It just works really well for me. Now I debated about putting the Dyson Airwrap in this video because I got it in November with the Sephora sale. I've been playing with it. I still have not perfected it. So there's no video on it. I haven't shared it. I wasn't sure if I wanted this to be the first video that I shared this in, but I use it so often, probably not the way that you would think that for me, this has change the game. Now I have the limited edition version, which functions the same as the regular version. I'll link this below if it's still available, as well as the regular one. I can't say whether this is worth the money for you. It's going to depend on your budget. If you have the budget and you feel like this might be something you want to play around with, you want to see if it gives you the styles, whether they're straight or voluminous or curly, there are good return policies. You know, I think it's worth playing around with. Now I did debate at first if I wanted to to return it because I was only trying to use these attachments and use it for curly hair. And I was frustrated because it does take longer. I'm streamlining that process, but this is not the main method that I use. I rough dry with this first, then I'll go in with the brush attachment, lift and smooth, and then kind of refine the top of my hair with this attachment right here. And it's really quick to switch between brushes. It saved me time. It's really convenient. Plus we went out of town and it also saved me from having to pack a blow dryer, my Revlon one step and a flat iron. Now I do still have to use my flat iron to get just some little, you know, flyaway kinks from my face. I just feel like I use this kind of in an unconventional way, in a way that a lot of people don't. And the styles that I'm able to get when I do use these barrels, I can't duplicate. So even though it takes me a little bit longer to get those styles, if I allot the time, I'm always happy with the results. So that's my quick and dirty version of the Dyson Airwrap. It has made a difference for me in 2021. I'm glad I got it. And when I first started playing with it, I, I didn't really think 
think that I would say that. But I use this regularly to get my hair straight and it works beautifully. That's just my experience. I'm still playing around with trying to cut the time down on the curls, but I wanted to share that because as far as yearly favorites go, I mean, it is heavy in my rotation. I discovered Necessaire in 2021. I love, love every product that I've tried. Their fragrances are very organic and natural, or you can get truly unscented products. They basically want you to treat your body the same way you treat your face. And they have a body serum, this fantastic body cream that has basically cured my dry, ashy body skin. They also have a body oil that is so fantastic and not greasy at all. I keep the body exfoliator and body wash in my shower. These are used regularly as well. I love them. They keep my body hydrated, my skin in great condition, and they're truly different than any other body care products I've ever ever used. While Necessaire is what I use for my body to keep it hydrated and nourished on a regular basis, I also like to alternate it with the Balm Dia Bright Cream because this helps with exfoliation, which is really important, especially as we get older. This scent, I've said before in videos, is what I wanted the yellow one to smell like. I just didn't like the scent of that one, and this one smells so heavenly, and it's not overwhelmingly strong like the other one. I also feel like this scent doesn't clash with any perfumes that I wear. It says that it is infused with renewing fruit, AHAs, and vitamin C, and so it just helps with skin turnover, which is super important so that we can continue to to have healthier, brighter looking, smoother skin. So I use this in conjunction with the Necessaire. I kind of alternate days. Sometimes I'll use this a few days and then the Necessaire, but I find that they work really well together and it's just a great combo for me. I discovered a lot of fragrances, perfumes in 2021. I just did a fragrance collection video. So I'm gonna link that down below and start it at the timestamp where the 2021 perfumes come in because I really love all of them. So if you're a perfume junkie like I am, you might like some of the fragrances I like. So that link will be down there for you. I have quite a few jewelry favorites for 2021. I'm going to start with Miranda Fry because I'm wearing these earrings that I probably have worn the most in 2021 and they're from Miranda Fry. I also have on a bracelet from her that I wear a ton too. I just think she has some great options for everyday earrings. They wear well and they just go with anything. The ones that I have on though, you know, she came out with a fine jewelry line. If she made these same earrings in that fine jewelry line, I would spend the money on them because I get asked where I got these a lot and people think they're way more expensive than they are. And these are just different enough that I would like to have them in, you know, a fine jewelry line. I think these would be great pieces to have. So here are some other earring favorites of mine from her that I just absolutely love. I'll have links down below as well as links to a page where you can just see all my Miranda Fry favorites. I have several necklaces that I wear that are Miranda Fry. I wear them in videos and in my everyday life that I just think are so great and very layerable as well as her bracelets. I feel like for the price point, you get really nice quality. It makes a good presentation if you're giving it for a gift as well. So some other earrings that I've gotten a lot of wear out of, I've worn recently in some videos are these threaders from Uncommon James. These are so lightweight and a little bit different than your ordinary hoop. I love wearing these with anything. I mean, I could have them on right now and they would be completely appropriate for this outfit too. And also these fat hoops from, I think these are Kendra Scott. I had these on in one of my best of or worst of videos that just came out. I think these are available in different finishes, but I love the frosted finish and that they're, you know, kind of chunky. You see them, they add a little bit of something, but they're not over the top. I've also gotten quite a lot of wear out of this white necklace. I want to say this solid white isn't available anymore. They have it in a white mother of pearl and some other stones. But it's a great everyday little necklace that I've really enjoyed way more than I thought I would. I've also enjoyed this little bow pendant that I've had on during this video. I didn't think I was much of a bow person, but there's something about it looking so delicate. I feel like it looks higher end than it is. During the holidays, I paired it with these really cool bow earrings. I just loved the look. And now if you want 
want a couple of pieces, a necklace and a bracelet that look pricier than they are and are great for dressy occasions, but I've also worn them with a white button down and they looked really great with that too. These two are really stunning with the gold and the stones. They just, they look really expensive and they're not. I've enjoyed all of these pieces in 2021 and more. I'm sure I'm leaving out something that I discovered over the past year. I know a lot of you like jewelry the way I do, so I definitely wanted to share that with you in my yearly favorites. Now, I know I talk about Athleta here a lot. There are only a couple of pieces that I discovered in this past year because I guess I have so much from them already. I was a big fan of the Elation Capri for a long time, but in 2020, I tried the Salutation Capri, which I think I like even more. There's something about the cut, compression, the way it's super flattering, but soft. I wear them as loungewear because they're that comfortable, but you can also work out in them. I personally prefer the 7 8 length. I like where it hits on my calf, but they have a Capri length as well as a full length tight, and they have multiple colors to choose from. Athleta pieces for me are completely worth the money. They hold up. They look good for a long time. This is Athleta. Actually, both of these, the top and the wrap are from Athleta. I'll link the wrap too. I didn't discover this in 2021, but it's super soft. I've actually gifted this to people. It comes in multiple colors. I have it in multiple colors. I also tried their jeans and sleepwear for the first time. The jeans I liked so much more than I thought I was going to like. And the sleepwear piece that stands out to me the most is the sleep jogger. The fabric is so soft and thick thin, but not unflattering. I wear those all the time. I actually need to get a couple more pair. I never thought I would buy Athleta sleepwear, but I just love it. Of course I do. I mean, what's not to love? I also got these in 2021. I can't remember what video I shared these in, but I get compliments on these every single time I have them on when I'm out just running around. So these are two different styles. This is the Campo and this is the, I want to say V12 or V10. It's kind of hard to find colors because these are, are pretty in demand, but these are great. I would call these athleisure shoes. These aren't, you know, your workout shoe. These are what I was looking for. I have some shoes that I wear, you know, when I want to do activity, but I wanted something that would just kind of elevate an outfit, but not look like a running shoe. And that's what these do. I love them. I think 2020 is when I discovered on running shoes and they've been my staple running shoe, everyday sneaker you know, not fashion-y like the ones I just showed. I got another pair this year somewhat recently that I love. I just think these are so super cool looking. So I wanted to show you. Can you hear Luke snoring? Oh my God, that was so loud. Anyway, I think these are the Cloud X. These are really lightweight and comfortable and look good with outfits too. Now, I recently talked about my love for my Bose Sleep Buds in a video. I think it was luxury products that are worth the money. I discovered these in 2021. I don't want to be super repetitive. I'll link that video down below, but they had to go in here because I use these regularly. I have a husband that snores. There's just noises that go around now. Bose has invented this fabulous fabulous product that somehow is comfortable when you're laying on your pillow. There are different little sizes of, you know, inserts so that, you know, fit different sizes of ears. I have a small ear canal and I think I use the smallest size. It may even be the second to smallest. These are very, very comfortable. They work with the Bose Sleep app exclusively, which has noise masking sounds, which is not the same as noise blocking. It has a whole different technology. And so if you use use a white noise machine or if you use, you know, some kind of an app on your phone, it's just not the same thing. These have some kind of magic to them, not really, but kind of, that completely cover up my husband's sleeping, yet I, I'm not totally blocked from everything else around me. Whereas with a white noise machine and earplugs, which I had to use with a white noise machine, or with an iPhone app with uncomfortable earbuds when I'm laying on my pillow, I could still hear him through that. Not with them. I love them. So worth the money. I don't have this product here, so I'll put it on the screen. I discovered Vocal Zone thanks to my friend Gemma Pampered Wolf in 2021.
2021. I ran out and I've been needing to repurchase them, especially over the past two days because I've been filming nonstop. Vocal Zone is a lozenge that helps lubricate your throat. It's not the same as a cough drop. So if you sing, if you talk a lot, if you're experiencing throat dryness, it's such a great thing to have. Now the taste is, you know, just okay, but they really do work to help coat the throat. If you're getting a little raspy or if you're a little dry and need that kind of thing. I didn't even know a product like this existed. It was a great discovery for me in the last year, a great discovery for me overall of all time. So I'm just going to flash on the screen the top shows for me in 2021, the ones that I enjoyed the most that I think everyone should watch, no matter your taste. I think you would like all of these shows. Now, I do have to comment on one specifically, and that is the, the Dexter New Blood. If you haven't seen the original Dexter, you should probably see that first because you may be a little lost, but, but I have to say, I love the way they're doing this whole new series or limited edition run, whatever it ends up being, has a totally different feel, but but I, I like it. Earlier in the year, I shared the YouTube channel, That Chapter. It's a true crime channel that I love. Mike is funny with a dry sense of humor, yet respectful at the same time, which can be kind of hard to do. He's a very good storyteller. I just wanted to put it in my yearly favorites because it is a YouTube channel where as soon as I see that a video has dropped, I will make time that day to watch it. I love his content. I appreciate appreciate him as a creator. And if you like true crime, I definitely think you will love his channel. One of my unique discoveries in 2021 was the Rocket Book. So this is the cover and the pen you use is the Pilot Friction Pen. It's got this little eraser tip. The reason why this is unique, I'm trying to hold this to show you at the same time, is because you can write on these pages with this pen, scan them and send them to Evernote, Google Docs, your email, wherever you want to scan them and send them to so you have them electronically. And the pages are washable and they won't rip. I mean, you can take a damp cloth and completely erase and reuse these pages. So this is the number of pages that you're given and you can just reuse these sheets over and over. So if you're someone like me and you're a list maker and you're always scratching things out or making new lists and starting over on a new sheet, this is a great tool because you don't have to keep using these thick notebooks and going through them over and over. You just have this thin book. There's also little pads for your purse. You can also erase with the little eraser, but being able to erase in bulk is just pretty great. There may be a smaller size than that. I mean, this is just your traditional notebook size. I just love how thin this is and how lightweight, you know, we're building a house and carrying this around versus carrying a big, thick notebook is so much more handy. I can scratch out my to-do list, completely erase it, make a whole new list on that page. It's great for planning videos. This is such a great idea. I'm sure there's way more things that you can do with this than I've even done. I'm just glad I found it. I'll have my yearly favorites playlist linked for you so you can check out my other yearly favorites videos. I'll also link my best of 2021 foundations, powders, concealers, the face video because I know a lot of you are really into that kind of thing like I am. I'll have that linked separately. I hope you found this helpful and enjoyable. If you did, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.